I think there's beauty in vulnerability. I think it's really powerful to take the armor off and break down those walls and be authentically you. My name is Candace, and I'm an international yoga instructor and entrepreneur. So Yoga by Candace operates under this idea of a modern yoga lifestyle. We are constantly working on creating content, and we also do international retreats and workshops. And so I love traveling and teaching, meeting people from all over the world, and that to me is the best, finding that connection between the others in the community and myself. I'm from Falls Village, Connecticut. It's a super small town. Growing up, I was really insecure and fearful. I had all these walls around me to like protect myself. I was always really active. One of my very first jobs was working at a gym. Every weekend, this woman would come up from New York City and teach yoga, and I remember going into that yoga class and felt like it was a very safe space, so I could kind of let my guard down, just being like, okay, I can relax and it crossed my mind, oh, I, I could maybe do that. I could maybe teach a yoga class. But yoga teacher trainings are really intense and I wasn't sure that I would do a good job and I was just scared. It was August of 2010 and I came down with this mystery illness. It started with inflamed joints throughout my fingers. A few months later, it turned into much more serious stuff. I went from doctor to doctor trying to figure out what this mystery illness was and finally a year and a half later I remember hobbling into the doctor's office because I could honestly barely walk and she was the one who really looked at me as a whole and realized that I had Lyme disease. My doctor warned me that when I started medication it would probably get worse before it gets better. I became bedridden for about two weeks and literally had no energy to even get up and get a glass of water. I didn't even know, I looked in the mirror, I didn't even know who I was anymore. So I remember one day in particular, I was feeling so depressed and I remember just kind of putting a stop to it and being like, no, allow yourself to dream. What would you do if you got better? And I picked up my journal and I began writing about the things I wanted to accomplish. I wanted to reclaim my independence. I wanted to travel. I wanted to take that yoga teacher training course I had always wanted to do, but had put off. And four years later, I felt well enough to go on that mission. On the day I graduated, I remember we had just finished the graduation ceremony, and I was like, you know what? I should really start a blog. I wanted to create a place that was for people like me who loved yoga, but also loved the lifestyle piece, the beauty, the fashion, fitness. So as I began to grow the YouTube channel and the other platforms I was on, I was realizing that I wanted to feel a little bit more put together. And I've always loved makeup, so first thing I do in the morning, I get up, I put my makeup on, and I feel like, okay, I'm ready for the day. So when I'm traveling and I'm doing workshops and taking photos with people and taking photos for my blog, creating content for my channel, I always feel really put together. I lead a really active lifestyle. I'm always on the go. And I think Color Stay fits my lifestyle because it's long wearing. And I wanna put on makeup in the morning and not have to worry about touching it up throughout the day. I wake up, honestly, every day so grateful that I get to do what I love. I think that's the biggest blessing in the world. And I'm so thankful for what I've had to go through because otherwise I wouldn't have gotten to this place. Living boldly is all about just owning who you are, being authentic to you, and knowing that there's strength in being vulnerable and sharing your own experiences. You're stronger than you know. There's something inside of you that is so powerful and you just need to tap into that.